This video shows how to write a program in investigator mode. So first I'm going to click on investigator and now I'm going to click on new project. I'm going to double click. It asks me for a title so I'm going to call this velocity. This already exists so it's making me choose another name. So I'll do it again. And I'm going to call this Velocity Test. So looking at RoboLab, this is the programming mode. This is the data collection mode where I can download data from my robot to the computer. This is the compare mode, so I can compare two graphs. Um, and this is my computation mode, so I can calculate, I can use, write formulas and calculate things about my data. So when I'm in programmer mode, I like to work in program level 5. It gives me access to all the functions in the functions palette. So I'm going to pick program level 5, and I'm going to click on this yellow arrow. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, if your functions palette isn't up, this is my functions palette, you can select it from window and show functions palette. So it's showing. So I'm going to click on data logging and motors. And this gives me my usual functions palette. So the first thing I'm going to do is eliminate my green light, and I want to replace it with the NXT green light. So I'm going to go here to NXT commands and select the begin NXT function. That allows me to give my program on my NXT a name. Now the other thing is if I don't have a, my tools palette up, I can select it. So I go up to window in RoboLab and I do show tools palette and there are my tools. So I want to change the name. I'm going to change the name to velocity. Only part of the name will show on the NXT but that's okay. Okay now I'm I want to um, collect data. That's typically when you're investigator when you're in investigator you want to be able to collect data. So Whenever um, you want to collect data, you want to go to the investigator function palette here. And then I need to initialize um, my rotation sensor for logging. So this is my rotation sensor. It means I want to get it ready and tell it, hey, I'm going to be logging some information from your motor encoder. So I'm going to put that right there. And now I know um, I'm going to need a start data logging. So I'm just going to bring that into my window and a stop data logging. I know I'm going to need those and this way I don't have to come back to get them. So next I want to turn on motors A and C and I, right after I turn on motors A and C I want to start my data logging. So I'm going to put that there and then I want to wait for I'm using a bumper for this program so I'm going to wait for the push on my touch sensor. So what this is going to do is it's going to drive forward, wait for the, bu for the bumper to be pushed, and then drive backwards. So a simple program. And we want to record the motor encoder, the degrees that the, remoter, that the motor encoder experiences as it's driving. So next, I want, after, it, after it bumps, I want it to stop all motors, and then I want to have the motors reversed. So I'm going to pick, have motors A and C going backwards. You can see here A and C are going forward and here A and C are going backwards. And I'm going to give myself a little more room and I want it to go backwards for a certain number of degrees. So I'm going to go to the wait for palette and then I'm going to go to NXT wait for rotation right here. After that I'm going to stop all motors and then right after that I'm going to stop maybe I'll do instead of that I'll do stop recording and then after that I will have all of my motors stop and then end the program so you can see here that not everything was wired. Some things come wired automatically and some don't. So I, the way to wire is I, I'm in the wire tool, you can see here, and um, when you see me not go over to the wire tool, wire tool but the tool changes, 
I'm either pressing the space button, so here I'm pressing the space button, you can see it switching between these two tools, or I'm pressing the tab button, and I'm switching between these four tools. So just a keyboard tip. So I'm going to wire from the right side of one icon to the left side of the other, um, right side of one, left to the other. Notice they're blinking black. So it, sh it shows you right where you're going to wire. Now the thing I'm missing are my modifiers on these functions. So here I need a data set and a port value. So I'm going to find my data set under, under modifiers and I'm going to use the red data set. And I also need a, this one, a port value they ask for, so I can find the port values for the motors here. This command here also needs a data set, so I'm going to use, wire it into the data set that I use for initialization. And then here I also need a time between samples, and you can see that it's orange. The way to get an orange value is I can select the, my numerical constant that's blue, and orange means that it's a decimal, and a decimal means that it's 1.3 or 2.4, so it's, it has a decimal place in it. So I'm going to use the value of 0.1. You can see once I enter it, it turns from blue to orange. Now this one needs a port. I'm not going to wire a number of clicks because I want it to just be one, but my port, I'm going to say that's one, and make sure that my touch sensor is wired to port one. This wait for degrees here, it needs a port and a number of degrees. So the port I'm going to use is A, and I'm going to use um, my numeric constant for the number of degrees. Now notice that my number is, in, is selected already, it's in light blue, so I can type right away, and I'm going to pick a negative 3000. Notice it's a negative number, and that's because the motor is going backwards. So whenever my motors are going backwards, I need to use a negative number. And that's it. So my program should drive forward, start collecting data, wait for the touch sensor to be pushed, stop, go backwards for a certain number of degrees, 3,000, and then stop collecting data. So that now I'm ready to download my program. So the way I do that is I click on the white arrow, Now to run my program, I unplug it from the computer, and, but I'll show you here. Um, I click the orange button to get to my program. I hit run. And now if I want to collect, I want to see the data I collected, I click on data collection mode. And now I can click the white arrow. It will show me my data, and if I want to try it again, I can add another set of data. And I can download that set of data. And then I have, if I want to, I have two sets of data now, this one and this one. They look very similar, and if I want to delete my data, I don't like it. I want to run it again. I can just select minus to delete it. And that's that's it. That's that's how you create a program and then download data in Robolab.